Hi friends, I'm Marianne, otherwise known as www.italianwifey on Instagram. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just about to do a little baking and I've made this recipe a few times before. It is a big hit with my Instagram followers, so I thought I would do a recipe video. I think it's a big hit because this recipe is on the WW app at seven smart points for um, the My WW Green program but I was able to adapt the recipe and get it down to two smart points on my WW Green. That's amazing. Not to mention this recipe has lemon and blueberry and it's moist and delicious. So before I start baking, I just wanna put out a disclaimer. What you should do with my videos, with any recipes you find on Instagram or Pinterest or online, you need to use your app's recipe builder and put in the ingredients using the brands of, that you use. So what's ever in your pantry, in your refrigerator, your brands may be different than what I do, the points may vary. So you need to enter that into your recipe builder to find the true smart point value for whatever plan you're on. Now having said that, I have a lot of videos, well, some videos, I mean like 30 maybe, but still they're spanning um, a few programs from Beyond the Scale to Freestyle to now the My WW program. So that is why you want to enter the ingredients because some of my videos are old and even those videos have changed for me because I am on a different program. So I always check the smart point value and the ingredients that I use. So just do that. Enter everything in your recipe builder, create your own recipe, and you will have it in your app on hand, and you'll have the true smart point value. So what I'm making is lemon glazed blueberry snack cake. And like I said, I found it on the WW app. It's absolutely delicious. So let me go ahead, turn around the camera, and show you how to make this snack cake. And it, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna become one of your favorites. It's one of my so I already sprayed an eight by eight baking dish with cooking spray. Now the original recipe called to line the baking dish with parchment paper and I've done it both ways and the cake still comes out fine with cooking spray so I take the easy route. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to stir together a few ingredients in a bowl and I need a cup and a third of flour. I forgot to get out all my measuring tools here. There's always something I forget, right guys? So a third cup, I'm gonna start with that. And always make sure you scrape the top so you get an accurate measurement. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a cup. So there's a cup and a third of all-purpose flour. Now, if you don't have it and you just have self-rising flour, you can use self-rising and just back off on the baking powder. Okay, that is the all-purpose flour. And then I need a third of a cup of sugar substitute. So I use Stevia, Truvia. Now this is whole earth, but I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to be mixing, unless I get a third. No, don't get a third. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put in, top it off with Truvia. I shouldn't do this over the bowl, but I have a steady hand. So that's good. So this is a third of a cup of sugar substitute. And then you want to get your baking powder into the bowl and that is two teaspoons of baking powder. There's my teaspoon. I have to get new measuring utensils. They're like rubbing off. So here's two teaspoons of baking powder. That goes into the bowl. One, two. Now, I should say, don't fret, because at the end of the video, I will put the recipe 
with all the ingredients, the measurements, and also the instructions. If you don't wanna watch this video, just fast forward to the end and you'll get there. You can uh, pause the video and take a screenshot of the recipe. And then I need a half a teaspoon of salt. That's a half a tablespoon. It'd be way too much. There's the teaspoon. And that goes in the bowl. Okay, I'm reading this as I do it. In a medium bowl, stir together flour, trivia, baking powder, and salt. So it says make a well in the mixture, right in the middle. So I'm gonna do that. And then you're going to add in some other ingredients. And that's egg whites. And I will need two egg whites. So whatever your egg whites are, you have to look at the back. So this says two tablespoons for an, an egg white. So I'm gonna need four tablespoons to equal two egg whites. Sorry about that. I have a two tablespoon measure that I was gifted by my friend. So this is one egg white, two egg whites, right in the middle. So once the egg whites are in, you're going to stir it well. Okay, so that's all absorbed. Now I'm going to add in my almond milk, which is three quarter cup. So I'll take the quarter cup. And I need three quarter cups, so I will count three of these. One, two, and three, that's three quarter cup. And then I need applesauce and I'm just using a little container of applesauce and I need, uh, what's the applesauce? Three tablespoons of applesauce. So I'm gonna go and get my tablespoon. That's one, two. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. That's three. That was the second thing I did is I sprayed my baking dish. I preheated the oven and it's ready to go. So there's almond milk, the applesauce. I need vanilla, which will be one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I bought this in the Dominican Republic. It's so good. So one and a half teaspoons. Be very careful with this. It's a large jar. There's one. And I need to find the half. Okay, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then lemon zest. So I have a fresh lemon here. You're going to use the zest and also the juice from this lemon. So this is a washed. I wash all my produce now in vinegar water um, since the COVID. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing that, it's a good practice. So I'm going to put in the lemon zest. Now, when you're zesting a lemon, only go down to the white part. You just want the bright yellow peel of the lemon. So it says one teaspoon of lemon zest, but I go ahead and zest the whole lemon because I love lemon flavor. So you do what you want. 
You can always make a recipe your own, whether it's mine or someone else's. We all have better ideas maybe or different ideas that can make it taste better or if you're on a special plan like, I don't know, keto or Whole30. Okay, there you go. That's the lemon zest. So almond milk, applesauce, vanilla, and lemon zest. Then you're going to stir this together. Make sure it's all incorporated. Okay, and then you're going to spoon the batter into the prepared pan. So instead of spooning, I have a mixing bowl with a spout, so I'm just going to pour it in. Scraping the bowl, making sure I get everything out of the bowl into the baking dish. Want to leave any batter behind. Okay, that's pretty good. So, flour, sugar substitute, baking powder, salt. Mix that together and then you're going to add in your egg whites, your almond milk, applesauce, vanilla, and lemon zest. Now, this part is you sprinkle the top with fresh blueberries. Oops, I've got some blackberries in here. It says a cup and a third of fresh blueberries, but blueberries are zero, so I just like to dot them across the top. I don't measure them. And how simple is that? No mixer, you just stir by hand. It came together quickly, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Do I get a blackberry in there? No, I didn't. I'm gonna pop this juicy blackberry in my mouth. Mm. So good. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay. These are the uh, food saver seat, uh, sheets from WW. Keeps my berries fresher longer, I love them. Okay, so this, the berries may sink into the batter, it's okay. So now you're gonna bake this and for 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. You're going to test it when a wooden pick inserted in the center comes out clean. Um, a few crumbs may cling to it and that's okay. So let me go ahead and uh, put this in the oven. I'll show it to you after the time it's baked so you can see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze and I am using sucrin icing. No matter how much you use of this, it's zero smart points. So I just eyeball it. I know it's the cake so I want pretty much a lot of icing on there. And then, remember the lemon I zested, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and then use the lemon juice to flavor and thin out that powdered sugar. And it'll give a great lemon taste on top of that cake. We've got a big now I may need to add water to this if the lemon juice isn't enough and that's okay. You can also add your almond milk in it. Let's see if I have enough lemon juice in there. Yes, that made a nice glaze. Oh, and the cake is ready to come out of the oven. My alarm just went off so I'm gonna 
test it and see if it's done or if I need to go ahead and add additional baking time. Okay, so the glaze is ready for um, the cake once it cools. Okay, it's done. I have a wire rack. I'm putting my cake pan on or my baking dish to go ahead and cool the snack cake. Um, let me show you. It is golden brown around the edges. The blueberries did not sink down to the bottom, which is great. And you know what? You can even mix the blueberries into the batter if you want them throughout instead of just on the top. I will go ahead and use the glaze on this cake once it's cooled. And you won't want to miss out on making this snack cake. It's absolutely delicious. I'll show you the finished product as soon as this cools and it's glazed. Okay, the cake has cooled. And I'm just going to drizzle the lemon glaze on top of the snack cake. And I love sucrin products, both the brown sugar and also the icing because no matter how much you use, it's zero. And I get it, actually it's on my Amazon storefront. I get it through Amazon. I have a storefront. How good does that look? Now, if you want, you can go ahead and zest some more lemon on top of this, um, but I'm not going to because I put um, the juice of one whole lemon into the glaze. So look at how great that looks. So yummy. I'm gonna cut a piece so you can see what it looks like. So delicious, right? Look at that big piece of cake for two smart points. Unbelievable. It's so moist and so full of blueberry and lemon flavor. It's delish. So my taste tester is testing <laughs> my cake right now. What do you think? Is it good? Mm -hmm. There you go. So thanks guys for stopping by my kitchen for the lemon glazed blueberry snack cake. It's moist, delicious, only two smart points and I absolutely love it. I think you will too. So again, it's two smart points for nine servings. If you want to make more servings, you'll bring down the smart points, go ahead and do it. I wanna give you another variation. I make a cherry almond snack cake with the same recipe. All you're gonna do is you're going to substitute in dark pitted cherries that you could get in the freezer section at your grocery store for the blueberries. Then you're going to put in almond extract instead of vanilla. Make your cake like I just did. And then once it's cool, you're going to ice it with the sucrine icing, icing, there you go. Instead of lemon juice, you're gonna go ahead and use almond extract and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk to make the glaze to your desired consistency. That flavor profile is just as good. Cherry and almond go together as nicely as lemon and blueberry. So again, guys, thanks again for stopping by my kitchen and stay well, be kind to one another. Until next time, ciao.